All right. We've got Jeannie in the house. Can you hear me? You have to turn on your volume. Okay. There you are. Well, Look in the camera. I am. Hi. Okay. Hi. Turn on. How do you pronounce volume. your name? Yes. Your name. What is your name? Jeannie Tantric. Gina. Jeannie. Okay. What's your question, Jeannie? I I'm I'm getting a duplicate. I. I'm, I'm speaking because you have two coming. windows open. Oh, too many windows. Okay, sorry. No, no, you have the you have two windows open to this. You have are is it on your phone? No. Okay, okay I I I closed YouTube now. Okay. okay, I've never done this before. All right, what's your question? First of all, Jonathan, I I just want to say something quickly. I've been following you for a couple of years. Okay. It's it's been wonderful. I really enjoy everything and and going through everything with you and Marie. I just I I just really related. Oh, well, thank um, you. Yeah, I was a, a matchmaker uh, okay. uh, about twenty years ago, okay. and um, uh, I've been online dating for four years. Okay, we had um, two six month relationships, and then recently ended a 10 month relationship. Okay. And things are hard. A lot of people can cannot do what we're doing. They cannot online date properly. It's really hard and it's hard breaking up with a a long term so, relationship like you you and I have had. Yours so, was longer. But it's really yeah, hard so, and a lot of people a lot of women don't want to put themselves out there like that. So I would venture to say that a significant percentage of the single population over 50 yep. probably hasn't had a date. You know, like if they, if let's say their marriage ended in their forties yeah, uh, and they haven't done online dating, I would venture to say there's a group of women in their fifties, sixties, and even seventies that might not have gone on a date in 10 years. Okay. I okay. meeting and them partially. Be, okay. Now let's look at, now let's look at you. For example, do you mind sharing your age? I'm turning 70 next week. Congratulations. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, okay. So You've had three relationships in, a, in four a years, of, in mm -hmm. four years. Okay. So, and you met them online. Yes. Okay. So ladies, really quickly, here's a woman who's mm -hmm. had four relationships or three relationships in four years. She met them online. Now they didn't go the distance. Right. So let me ask you, what was good about each relationship? That, um, I vetted them well. I'm really proud. I vetted them well enough and okay. stayed with them to um, all three of them are going to be, two of them are still are really good friends. Okay. And the third one is going to be a good friend. We're going to be, okay. one is a theater buddy, one is a flying buddy, okay. and the other one is a motorcycle buddy. Okay. I mean, I have, I love me keeping them as friends. Yeah, so so the fact that you weren't able to go the distance with them doesn't mean that you couldn't have a fulfilling experience with them right. and continue a fulfilling experience. So what right. so what the lesson here is see here's the reality. Your odds increase a thousand percent if you put yourself online versus not, because exactly. the reality is, is most people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s do not actively meet single people in their daily lives. I mean, exactly. yes, there is exceptions, but the reality is meeting organically doesn't happen unless you are constantly putting yourself in environments mm -hmm. with people. If you're not putting yourself in environments with people outside of your professional work capacity, then the likelihood is very small. So when I say a thousand percent, I just mean it goes up substantially yes. Yes. when you put yourself in front of people and that's what online dating does. Now that means you have to trudge through scam artists like I shared in the book. You have to go through a lot. You got to you know, kiss a lot of frogs, so to speak. 
but it seems like you put together a good profile. And if you have mm -hmm. a good quality profile, you're going to yes. put the odds more in your favor. Yes. And, so. and you ha have to have, a, I've, I've been uh, talking at uh, going to senior centers and giving um, a talk on this. Yeah. I, I go and I, by the way, senior my... centers are a great way to pick up people. Oh, it's <laughs> wonderful. I couldn't wait till I turned 50 to start going to the senior center. They yeah. have such wonderful programming. Yeah. But um, it's a, I tell everyone you have to be in the mindset. You're, and you know what, Jonathan? People yeah. are, they're saying, oh, I tried that online dating. I'm on, I'm online dating now. It's not working. Well, they're not doing the paid version. They're doing plenty of fish and Facebook dating. Get off of those. Yes. Get those off. two are, it's the bottom of the barrel. Spend pay, the, pay spend the $30 a month for match.com. Yeah. Spend yeah. $100 for six months for Bumble yeah. or, or Hinge or whatnot. But yeah. yes, pay a little money. Put together a stellar profile. Absolutely. You know, it's so funny. I Real quick, Jeannie. I had yeah. a woman who I met at a singles event recently. Mm -hmm. And she's been following, just like you, she's been following me for years. Mm -hmm. And she said, Jonathan, I always hear you say how 99% of your dating profile sucks. She goes, my dating profile is awesome. Can I prove mm -hmm. it to you? And I go, I bet it's going to suck. And sure enough, she showed it to me. It was an A double plus. It was an A double plus. She had mm -hmm. put together a wonderful representation of herself, quality photographs, mm -hmm. a well-written essay, mm -hmm. good content. She wasn't talking negative about what she's not looking for. She just put together and, and I'm holding space for her to attract a wonderful partner soon. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. listen, sweetheart, okay, I'm good. actually wrapping up now. It's an hour, but I can Great. I reach into the camera and give you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug? Yes, yes. We're all thumbs up for online dating. Way to go. Thank you. All right. Thanks. The paid versions. The paid versions. Exactly. Paid, paid oh. versions. What? Can I just say one thing? Sure. Go in there, ladies. Go in there. Make your profile and everything. Like you're going to join. I mean, you can join without doing your profile right away. If you don't join within, let's say, a week, they'll send you an email coupon for 50% off. Yes, exactly. That's how you say it. And by the way, when your subscription is up, if you cancel it and say, yes. I'm canceling it for money, they'll discount it 50%. <laughs> well, they, they, or they, oh, I, I just cancel. And then a week later, I get that 50%. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Again. Good, good thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, how sweet she was. I'm happy birthday to her. So. She makes a good point. Online dating is still happens to be one that look at she had three relationships in four years while they didn't work out. She said she's friends with them. She has a flying buddy. She has a movie buddy. She's made some really good connections. I'm going to share with everyone some of my dearest friends in my life. One in particular, Tammy, was a, a date we had that never turned in anything. Seven, no, 17 years later. No, 19 years later, we are still friends. We talk today. She's in a great relationship. Uh, we we're like each other's therapist for one another. We are dear friends with one another. We talk regularly. She's in a relationship where she's moving in with someone. She's been through several of my relationships. I, I've met so many beautiful human beings through online dating. Um, I'm still... Uh, I'm actually still friendly with my last two relationships as well. And even my ex-wife and I are relatively friendly to one another. I believe you can make connections with people that can go, that actually have meaning behind it, meaning they can be um, people in your lives. And I don't mean they're daily in my life per se, except for Tammy. She's like my best buddy. Um, and that wouldn't have happened if I didn't meet her online. In fact, I was going to write a book. So so I met this girl online <laughs> and I'm still thinking about writing that book because I think online online connections are just portals to people that you wouldn't otherwise meet in your daily life. That's all. They're just portals to meeting people that you wouldn't otherwise meet in your daily life. Hey, the Golden Bachelor divorce. Listen, it's not a surprise to many of you. And certainly there's a lot of controversy going on. The most important lesson I just want to remind everyone 
And just like those bachelorettes on the show, those golden bachelorettes, I believe if you individually do the work, well, I don't know if they did the work, but you know what? They showed up as beautiful, vivacious, loving creatures. I believe when we hold that space for ourselves of self-love, self-respect, self-worth, self-confidence, self-esteem, self-reliance, when we hold that space for ourselves, we actually become a magnetic attractor for what we want. And I'm saying to everyone, I deeply believe in your power. And just like He-Man, I have the power. I want you to know he, she, she, no, he, how would it be she-male? She-man? <laughs> she-man. I'm thinking of like He-Man. You all have the power within you to attract a wonderful relationship. And I want you to hold a vision and a space for that God, universe, spirit. I invite that for everyone who's watching the show that they can attract a juicy, delicious, healthy, happy relationship. I hold that space for all of you and myself as well. All right, did you find value in this video? If you did, post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, if you did find value in it, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel, she <laughs> And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you want to connect with me directly, there's a link below to schedule a discovery call, to join my group called Midlife Love Mastery, to get the books I recommend, to get my dating vows, to find me on Instagram, all listed below. And we're going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Barrick of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. Let's face it, we can all use more love in our lives. I want to thank 